Tom Dock is here for no doubt. Seemed to like the music. Yeah, he really. So, yeah, he sort of perked right up there. Really yeah, good exactly. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay. It's yeah. fine. Okay, spring break is, man, it's fast. I mean, it's March next week. So yeah. if you're not thinking about it, you need to. When it comes to our pets, are there two distinct camps in terms of you watch my, my animal at my home or we're just going to get it out of the house? Right, so we, we know that we can't take our pets most of the time with right. us. And what really prompted this was March is also National Pet Sitter's Month. Oh, okay. And so, you know, I'm of an age that I remember, okay, we took the dog to the boarding kennel, or maybe the veterinarian helped, or a 12-year-old kid. Kid, yeah, I, I, I used to be that 12-year-old kid. Yeah, Run across exactly. I took care of Taco the Poodle, Taco the Poodle. <laughs> a few times a year oh, for, wow. some, for our family. Yeah. Perfect. But now there's this real burgeoning industry of uh, self-employed people who want to spend time with pets, and so they're pet sitters. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I always caution people is that there's a lot of really good people out there doing it, but this is an unregulated industry. Okay. You know, there's no licensing or anything mm -hmm. like that, and right. you can just decide tomorrow, I want to be a pet sitter. Okay. And that's okay. Yeah, and sure. I did that for a while before family mm -hmm. obligations came along. So what do, what do we look for? If, if we're going to go pet sitter specific, mm -hmm. what, what do we look for? So we went up first off, off talking with our veterinary team, because they may have somebody already okay, that sure. can provide that companionship. Or some recommendations. Right. Yeah. Uh, some recommendations. Probably even some of the team members. Sure. Who, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. my gosh. Yeah. And, and your pet knows them. Oh, where's it going? Uh oh, you know, we don't have a mic on. So. No, we're good. Um, so you know, the the veterinary team members probably already know the pet. So right. That may be okay with that at this point in time. Um, another thing is we can look at some of the websites. We were just talking about care.com. Care yeah, com. Yeah, I always think of people being taken care of on <laughs> care.com, right. but anybody that's right. Uh, Rover.com. There's an ab uh, app uh, wag also okay. um, but honestly we want to look for somebody who's probably been doing this and at least is taking some steps to further their own education sure, right. and so there's websites petsit.com okay. and petsitters.org oh. that actually credential or certify oh, okay. pet sitters sure. okay. so a certified some hoops pet to trainer jump through to prove that you're right. capable you're, of doing this exactly something like that what if we want to go the boarding route mm -hmm. because uh, i know i you know producer janine mm -hmm. and, and and me in the past we had situations and it was like oh it it was kind of like the the dog's going to a hotel. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I'll go on I mean, spring break, so. And there's so many high-end boarding places now right. where they get condos and little beds to see right. fun with TVs up there in the corner yeah, and exactly. playtime with their friends in the hotel. And, and, of course, you know, your veterinarian probably offers this as well. Mm -hmm. You have to look at what's your dog going to do best at. And so you might want to interview a few places, just like interviewing pet sitters. Let's go to a couple boarding kennels. Do you think he wants the playtime? There's, okay. you know, boarding kennels with pools that they right, can swim in right, and, exactly. and things like that. Or does your pet need the veterinarian because maybe it's a cat that's diabetic okay. and needs insulin. Right. Okay. A pet sitter can do that, can give the injections, mm -hmm. but are they going to know if the cat didn't eat, don't give the injection, okay, yeah. you know, and things like that. So I think you really just got to, what's going to be best for your pet, mm -hmm. for your finances, and what's it going to be comfortable for sure, you? Sure, sure, exactly. Well, if, because it's, you, you want peace of mind. Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to know the right. animal is being well taken care of so that you don't have to be concerned with that. Right, right? you can enjoy your vacation, let them enjoy their vacation, and mm -hmm. you're going to have you know, the same dog when you get home. <laughs> exactly. Maybe cleaner. Right. And take advantage <laughs> of some of the things there. Right. Uh, well, you, you mentioned some interviews. Would, you, would that be a phone interview or go, go ahead and... Visit, visit the location and get the vibe that the animal's going to have there. And exactly. So whether it's a boarding right? kennel or whether you're interviewing that pet sitter, you know, go ahead and have the pet with you so you can see the interactions. They, they're often very intuitive sure. about things, and they'll give us gut reactions that we can feel. Mm -hmm. And we can say, yeah, this isn't going to, I don't like the way he acted when he walked in the door, or he sure didn't seem to warm up to that person. That may be a no for that. But then you can also ask questions like, you know, what's your emergency plan? You know, do you um, contract with a veterinarian in case there's a problem mm -hmm. while I'm gone? Right. You know, how are you going to get a hold of me? Are you bonded? Are you insured? Sure. There's yeah. lots of different questions you can ask. Uh, anything that you would add, it's, it's a loved one. So yeah, it's, it's, it's family. Any, I it's love family. it. It is yeah. very much family. There was a lot of links you had on there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of websites. We'll yeah. make sure we get all that onto IndyStyle.tv. Appreciate okay. it as always. Thanks, Tracy.